Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters, June 19, 2015. Gather around this morning, and let me share with you, as we begin our day together, before we even have our coffee, I want to share a dream that I had last night, or I should say this morning. Right before I woke up, I was dreaming, and I could see myself sitting on the edge of the bed, and I didn't have on a shirt. And I looked like I did back when I was in my early 20s, maybe 21 or 22. I was very, very slim, very, very muscular. I looked and I could see the six pack in my stomach. And I was so ripped in my arms. My biceps were, were huge and my triceps. And I looked like I did at one time in my younger days and then I woke up and it was so real that I come to the realization but old men will dream dreams and uh, it was only a dream and I keep thinking and I keep wondering I don't know if this is a prophetic dream of our new glorified bodies or what we will look like but we are so close to the imminent rapture of the church and we will take on new bodies no more sickness no more disease of the body no more infirmities no more pain no more heartache no more suffering just tears of joy when we stand before the one who paid it all for us when we see Jesus face to face, will we stand on that day? Or will we fall to our knees? I don't believe I'll be able to stand. I love him so much with all of my heart. My very being, my very existence, I love him. I worship him. And I will worship him. When I see him face to face, I will fall before the king. And I just want to reach out. I just want to hold him. I just want to hold on to his ankles and feel that amazing love. How could it be that Jesus, he died for me. He died for you. He died for all of us. He paid the ultimate price. The hour is late, the handwriting's on the wall, the clock is ticking down to the midnight hour. There's no more time left. We see the prophecies being fulfilled. The prophecies are all around us. He's coming quickly. Find peace today in your life, joy in your heart today. Put on your whole armor of God and fight the good fight of faith. Stand strong in these end times, these trying times. Because he's coming in clouds of great glory. I love you all. I wanted to share that dream with you this morning. It was so real. I remember how I used to look in my younger days. I used to be in the gym all the time. And I was in powerhouse gym. And I was into bodybuilding. And, um, oh, and then when I woke up and I... I realized how the hands of time uh, have passed so many years since my youth. Oh, I can't wait to be with the Lord. I love you. I'm going to have my coffee. Let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave this morning. I'm a little teary-eyed. Oh, I just love him. I, I don't know. If, I know all of you, my viewers and subscribers. I know you You know I love Jesus. But I'm... I, I, I don't think you have any idea. I'm homesick. I want to go home. Hold on. Let's go to ministry announcements. I want to thank those that have given so much to God's ministry. To the homeless. And I want to stress that. God's, it's not my ministry. This is the ministry that I was called to tend to. This ministry belongs to the Father, to Yahweh to the creator these are his children and they're hurting and they're suffering and when you give a gift to the homeless ministry that I tend to 
You're not giving a gift to Pastor Dave. You're giving a gift to the Father, to Yahweh, to the God of Israel, to tend to his people, his children that are hurting and hungry and suffering. I just want to stress that point. I want to thank uh, a person that wishes to remain anonymous for a precious gift to the Father for his children of $50 and a special, special acknowledgement to James. Like Monica, James, for a long time now, a very special viewer and subscriber, gives on a regular basis to God's ministry to the homeless a precious gift of $100. If you feel led, and you have to be moved, you have to be led by the Holy Spirit to give. And if you are, I'll put the link to our homeless outreach ministry. God's homeless ministry. So many people are hurting today. So many people are suffering. Very sad news today. The Watchman on the Wall. Southwest Radio Church, very own Noah Hutchins has passed away. What a true man of God. What a true watchman on the wall. I would work the afternoon shift and get off at 11, and that's when the watchman on the wall radio broadcast would come on with Noah Hutchins. And I would listen to it on the ride home. It would take me 15, 20 minutes to get home. And when I pulled up in front of the old trailer here, I wouldn't come in until Noah Hutchins had finished his Watchman on the Wall broadcast. What a true man of God. It's sad. Because we have him no more with us, but he is with the Father. He is in that glorious place. He has gone home. And he will be missed, and my prayers go out to his family, that they find comfort and peace in knowing that he is with the Father. He is with Jesus today. Very sad uh, passing of Noah Hutchins. <sighs> I want to take a moment with you and um, reflect on this shooting the church shooting and uh, some people are saying that it's a false flag and uh, it's like Sandy Hook and no one really was killed and I don't believe that I believe that this terrible terrible event took place we're living in the end days and this is evil and this is darkness but I have to wonder about the shooter this young man, they're saying that he is in his 20s. He looks like he's about 15 years old. So I don't know, was he a part of all of this? A, a, a government uh, plant? I don't know. But people lost their lives, and we need to understand that. In a church, in the house of God, of all places. But now, we're in the end days. Now they want to use this to disarm the American people, to grab the guns. They want to use this to bring about civil unrest, to pit black against white, to have rioting and looting in the streets. You see the evil plan of the enemy? It's more than just, it's more than twofold or threefold and numerous, numerous ways that they are going to use this to disarm the American people to cause uprising, civil unrest, rioting, looting in the streets when they need to implement martial law. JDM 15 is around the corner and he's about to break the sky. And while they're focusing mainstream media news on this and this shooter, very strange, uh, and trying to pit black against white. They want another Ferguson. They want rioting and looting and black against white. So they can use this to disarm the American people. And all while this is going on, they're shoving and pushing while your attention is over here. Obamacare through 
and they're pushing this gay marriage and gay agenda through all of their evil agendas are being pushed through rushed through Congress while you were sleeping be very careful we're living in the end days I'm gonna end with scripture it's very important uh, and this has to do with the video that I uploaded uh, there is witchcraft in the church today evil dark forces and I want to take you to scripture the fifth chapter of Ephesians and we're gonna begin at verse 6 let no man deceive you let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience be not ye therefore partakers with them for ye were sometimes darkness but now are ye light in the Lord walk as children of light for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth proving proving what is acceptable unto the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light or whatsoever doth make manifest is light I love you all and uh, I just want to share this with you I have anointed my home with oil and what I use is pure virgin olive oil and I keep an open Bible in every single room of my house we have to not only put on our whole armor of God but we have to be ready at all times uh, we do not battle uh, uh, against flesh and blood but spiritual wick wickedness darkness in high places I keep an open Bible in every single room of my home I've got a Bible here I am surrounded with Bibles and I do this all the time and I have my Bible here I have a Bible in the kitchen a Bible in the living room uh, a Bible in every bedroom a Bible on open and I keep it open on my nightstand it's really not a nightstand it's one of them big plastic um, tubs and I have a, a, a sheet over it hey I'm, I'm four we live in a trailer here so it's a makeshift nightstand and I keep an open Bible on my makeshift nightstand and I sleep with a Bible and anoint your head with oil because the enemy is on a fierce attack and all I do is I just dab a little bit on my on my fingers and just anoint your head with oil. Every doorway, every window, every entrance and exit of your home, just dab a little oil on and just put it over each and every entrance way and exit way window of your home. And be protected. Put on your whole armor of God. Fight the good fight of faith. He's coming quickly. God bless you today.